How you doing? This is Q Owens from the University of St. Francis. I'm a senior from Indianapolis, Indiana, and I'm going to introduce you to a few of my post players. All right, we're here now with Scott Cohn, sophomore center for us. Uh, you want to talk about the Concordia game? Yeah, uh, it was a good team effort. We got uh, they were, they got out on us early. I think we were down by ten or something. Uh, just battled back. Uh, everybody played pretty well. Uh, good team effort defensively. And we got the win. All right, thanks a lot, Scott. Okay, we're here with my fellow senior, Kevin Dawson. Uh, Kevin, let's talk about some of the gifts that you and your parents has been giving the teammates this year with the food and, you know, my Christmas gift, which was my first Bible with my initial on it. Yeah, I mean, uh, my mom always likes to be kind of considered the team mom, so she tries to make sure that the, all, the team, all my teammates eat well. And uh, for the last game, for instance, she brought in some Rice Krispie treats and some some of her chocolate-covered pretzels and other things like that. So all the guys really like that. And hopefully those treats uh, boost us up for this game against Taylor, which uh, all of our pregame meals do at your house. Yeah, I know they do. Everybody keeps asking for more. So. <laughs> all right, that was Kevin Thaw Dawson. Thank you. Okay, we're here with freshman Dikembe Mutombo. <laughs> No, actually, this is Takumba Fashi. Uh, Takumba, talk about how you've been playing. Uh, your role's been coming off the bench, giving us some big minutes and a boost off the bench. Well, I mean, um, it's been pretty good, you know, just been ready to play whenever. I know my minutes are limited, but I just got to be ready to come in when my name is called, so that's pretty much it. And that's pretty interesting uh, for you to say that as a freshman, knowing that your, your minutes are low, but you know what you have to bring off the bench. Uh, how do you feel about that? I mean, I, I feel fine about it. I mean, I don't mind learning and playing behind some of the other big guys like Kevin and Brad and Scott and them. They, they know a lot. And for me to learn about that, for me to learn with them, I mean, it's just a, a great opportunity. Okay, uh, and that was the Kimbe. Uh, he usually gives the finger when he uh, gets a block in the game. Thanks a lot for your time. No problem. All right, we're here with Brad Sneary, junior, center, big fella for us. Uh, I have to bring up this moment. It was at a, we was at Indiana Tech, and uh, I believe LaRon had dished it to you, and it, it looked like your elbows was over the rim when you slammed it on uh, Bartholomew, man. How do you feel about that? Uh, you know, I, I don't really know. I just got up there, I guess, and just threw it down. <laughs> kind of goes back to what Coach said in the locker room uh, a few games ago at IU Southeast when he said, put your knees on the rim if you have to. <laughs> yeah, um, might have been something a little bit more inappropriate uh, besides the knees on the rim, but yeah, every time he told me to do that and I'm trying to. Okay, You've been playing some good minutes, man. You've been coming off the bench, giving us what we need. Uh, big rebounds, big block shots and defense. Uh, you want to talk about that a little bit? Um, yeah, uh, I've been getting uh, some more minutes recently and uh, just trying to take advantage of that. Well, this is B-Rad, a junior's big man. Stay tuned and watch this fella. Thank you. Now, that was an inside scoop with our University of St. Francis big man. Um, you can stay tuned and follow us live stream Tuesday versus Taylor, Thursday against Bethel, and the doubleheader on Saturday versus Mount Vernon Nazarene with our men's and women playing. Stay tuned.